and welcome back to the slaughter. Now that sounds really cheerful for some reason, but hey, it's been a week and a half and almost two and this guy has been waiting for that pint forever. So I finally got some time to play this game and to drink. Cheers. So let's start reading stuff and drinking. There's a pigeon there. Is that my spirit animal? It should be inhumanely destroyed. Oh, wow. The pub notice board. What does it say? Try our penny pies, now with a free gift inside. So it's the happy meal of the time, I guess? Let's go in. Let's go get that pint. You deserve it, man. You've been waiting a long time for it. Well, this is underwhelming. And I thought I was starting early. All right, old boy! I'd get more riveting conversation from that alleyway corpse. Yeah, you would. An old seafarer. Looks pretty badass. He has a very stoic look about him. Is it snowing in here? That's lovely. A gloomy cottage in the Dales. Can I take the painting? Why paint some something so depressing? It's not that depressing. Okay, it's a little bit depressing. It's only like 65% depressing, but it's not that depressing. Get over yourself, painting. A selection of ales. My good man. I don't think it's self-service. Oh, it should be. There should be a self-service bar. Is that a thing? It's probably a thing. A purveyor of good times and bad. All right, landlord. A pint of the usual. What's the usual, then? It kind of defeats the object, if I have to tell you. Whatever you say, mate. Uh, what's on tap? What do you recommend? I don't know, is it is it bad to ask a bartender what do you recommend because they're always gonna recommend the stuff that's gonna expire? Ah, fuck it, let's go for it. You look like you do a lot of drinking. Watch it. Anything you'd recommend? Now he's gonna spit in my drink. Well, for a man in a low state such as yourself, I'd go for the old noose. It clears the mind, or empties it, rather. Sounds? What makes you- Hey! What thing makes you think I'm low? It's between the morose look on your face and the dried blood on your nose and the bird crap on your coat. A fair observation. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Sounds perfect. I'll have the old noose. And I'll have uh, my old wine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Glug. A few rounds later. Oh, it's gotten to that point where you're using both elbows to <laughs> lay on the bar. Time, gentlemen, please. That means you. Um, how about a sly half? Cocktail time. <laughs> one for the road. How about one for the road? I think you've had a few too many as it is. I'm almost at my magic number. Don't make me come around this bar. Alright, alright. This place is dead anyway. Whoa, I don't feel too good. Whoa, you really don't. <laughs> Everything's moving. Time to start reading <laughs> long lists when we're severely inebriated. I don't rule by the place. The landlord is always a git. Some punts in an overcoat. I love to pinch it, but my pockets are big enough. Aren't big, big enough. He's hiding something from me. I can tell from his eyes. Still a stuffy old git. Toilet closed due to catatonic student farmer. I'm impressed that I can say catatonic. 
the piss shack. Out of order, though. Delicious alcohol. I think you've had enough. Delicious alcohol. I ought to drink every last drop. Don't test me. Fine, I won't test you. I will try to go out and barf, though. Silly old bugger. Cheer up, old boy. It might never happen. What a load of shite. <laughs> what, a, what a great evaluation of someone's work. <laughs> a miserable house. <laughs> now this is the guy. This here is uh, the guy. We know it, my friend. They can't pull the wool over our eyes. You and me against the world, old boy. Damn straight. Better out than in. Do you get hangovers in your headspace? I wonder. Hey, fishy. How long will you keep drinking like a frog? Until I croak? It's a lovely way to put it, you little alcoholic, you. It's him. It reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls, you know, the devil. Wasn't he called him? I love that character, he was my favorite. So what else can we do in here? Oh, there's a rat, rat now in, in a tiny fireplace. It's even too small for my sixth form cricket trophy. Outstanding effort despite lack of skill. I'm far too big to fit through. Okay, so we have to get smaller to talk to the rat for some reason. The latest volume has arrived. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I could really use a light. Hold your horses. I recall reading this when it was first published, though I fear I was slightly too old. Never too old for a good book. I don't know. I feel Alice's adventures in Wonderland can be fully appreciated only when you're a bit older. It's not really a, a book for children. I still haven't invested in that sun hat. Okay. It doesn't seem deterred by its new source of nourishment. Okay, yeah, yeah, it seems to be happy. I hope it sprouts something edible. I wouldn't worry about it from where you're standing. What is that supposed to mean, Mr. Fish? Okay, I picked it up. Good. So do I need to get some of this magical liquid and where was my inventory? It doesn't look like water to me, maybe it's beer. Cheers. Oh, I see what we did. Curiouser and curiouser. Is everything black and white now? Am I in my memories? Oh god, I hope it's not that lady that we met previously. She was awfully nice.
<clears throat> yes, I know. At least I still have my self-awareness. That's one thing I can pride myself on. I'm constantly observing my declining behavior, as if through a looking glass. I'm just not entirely sure what to do about it. Are you? I'm sorry. I don't suppose manners have ever been an issue for you. Hey, doggy. I suppose I ought to keep composed until the very end. I'll be one of the decrepit few lurking in some damp corner of the local public house, condensing a lifetime of poor decisions into a few unintelligible slurs. Yeah, that sounds about right. So I'm thinking I'm still in my headspace. Ominous. At least we woke up home. That's that's good. Oh, my head. My head is throbbing. Well, what did you expect? It's probably empty. Probably. Sounds like it's raining. Any developments in the in the foreground? I don't think so. Book. Horatio's Buckswell Buckwell's Adventures of the Orient on the Orient of the Orient on and off Sounds like business Wooden blinds The rats around here have a habit of eating eating curtains eating curtains It's a rainy day in London I find I'm I'm, I'm getting there Emerson? Who? Uh, I mean, yes, that's me. Come on in. <laughs> Please do take a seat. I'll be with you in one second. Will, will, will I? Sharpen up. Sharpen up. You gotta be professional. You can't afford to lose this one. You need the money. Stay calm. Stay couth. What is that hole in the wall? It's our landlord, isn't it? How may I help you, Miss... Mrs. Polly Marwood? You'll excuse my curtness. I've been traveling throughout the night, and the road south is not smooth. You are excused, I assure you. Good. Let us get straight to matters of importance. My sister, a resident of this city, passed away two days ago under unnatural circumstances. A murder? Yes, Mr. Emerson, but this is not your concern. As this is a rather peculiar case, the police have taken upon themselves to deny me any of the possessions she carried at her time of death. This is an issue as my sister had with her a family heirloom, a silver-plated pendant inlaid with a garnet. I see no logical reason to deny me this item. I suspect one of the officers intends to keep the pendant to sell at market. You're skilled in the art of information and property retrieval, is this correct? I, I'm sorry, I, I mean pardon? The retrieval of property through covert means. Information retrieval, yes, but property? I'm not a thief, Mrs. Marwood. I'm not asking you to steal, Mr. Emerson. 
I'm asking you to retrieve an item of jewelry which belongs to my family. Can you do this for me? Retrieving an item from police possession. It's not the most advisable of tasks. I'm willing to pay you 10 pounds in advance and a further 50 pounds upon receipt of the pendant. That's 60 pounds in total. That is correct, Mr. Emerson. Try not to smile. Remain calm. I'm still listening, Mrs. Marwood. Good. Being unmarried, my sister can be found under my maiden name of Fairchild. Alice Fairchild. As the funeral is not for another two days, and this is a high-interest case, I would assume her cadaver is still being held at a mortuary, though I am unsure as to which one. I'm sure you will have no trouble obtaining this information. Here's the ten pounds advance, and the address at which you can find me. I don't remember saying yes. You needn't bother walking me outside. Goodbye, Mrs. Marwood. I'm sorry for your loss. Christ, she's a hard-nosed woman if I've ever seen one. Utterly emotionless and unsurprisingly very wealthy. Sixty pounds, that's almost double my year's rent. I suppose I have her unfortunate sister to thank, a rather morbid thought. Anyway, no time to waste. I think I have a good idea at where to start looking. Wow, sixty pounds, double your year's rent? That's... wow, that's inflation for you. And cheap, wow. Was it cheap? I don't know. I don't know. But we have a case. Anne is gonna pay big money. My well-earned wad of banknotes. Yep. Well-earned. <laughs> you just stood there hungover as fuck. So do you mind sharing with the class where you would, uh, like to start? Because I don't have an idea. Do we just step out and meet our landlord again? Our creepy, creepy landlord? Okay. Now, where did I leave that coat of mine? Indeed. Where is that coat of yours? Is it in the bathroom? Yes, it is. I hope it's dry. Well, it's not gonna be dry outside. It's raining. There you are. Hello, person watching. It's rather damp. Okay, let's go. Let's get that money. Money, money, money. Money, money. Colchester. I wonder if Colchester is in. I can pay him the rent now. I don't think he's in at the moment. I'll try again later. I don't really like the vibe of that dude. I'm sure it's nothing. Nice place though. Man, this kind of place would run you like a fortune nowadays. It's Mr. Simmonson's old, old cart. Old cart. In his defense, Mr. Simmons gives fair warning to all trespassers. What does it say? No soliciting, including but not limited to charity, petitions, political causes, salesmanry, film flammery, and religious zealotry. I'm not knocking after last time. Pitchfork on me once, shame on you. Pitchfork me twice, shame on me. Okay, I, I got the I got the message. He's gonna come out with a pitchfork, and with a ru ruthless attitude. Ooh, we have a map, and it's raining on it. I love that. This is such such a nice touch. Home pub. Hmm. Mm.
Just a quick one, okay? Keep, uh, keep on rocking, man. Hey, dude. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. In fact, I'm surprised you're still alive after last night. What do you mean? The last I saw, you were lying face down in a heap of your own supper. I turned you on your side, and I suppose it worked. Oh, well... Thank you. I, I don't... Don't worry about it, Sunshine. It happens to the best of us. Just take it steady next time. Yes, of course. Now what can I get you? Uh, tell- how did I get home last night? Do you have any idea how I got home last night? Can't say I do, though you've got the air of a sleepwalker about you. What makes you say that? The look on your face that says you're never quite awake. Do you know much about the murder the other night? Bound to pick up a few things behind the bar, but most of it is bound to be horse shit. I've had my fair share of horse manure. The real skill is sifting the truths and half-truths from the pile. Truths. I hate to admit it, I've been so desperate lately, I'd be happy with a quarter truth. Don't slander yourself, it's a commendable skill, that. Truth detection, some would call it. It's something a barman prides himself on. So what's passed through your uh, filter lately? A lot of excitement from the punters in here. They're half hoping another girl is snuffed. Gives them something to chat about. Know anything about the latest girl? Well, on second thought, don't worry about it. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. True enough. It's in all the papers, should you care to read them. Heard any other news? Something's amiss at St. Xavier's Hospital. How so? Patients checking in and never checking out, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. I see you're selling cocktails. How's that working out? Terribly. No one's even willing to give him a try. I've got ten crates of oranges that are going on the rot. I don't think you're attracting the right clientele for cocktails. If only they'd have a sip, they'd be hooked. And they wouldn't get scurvy. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna try one. I'll try a cocktail. What have you got? You will? Brilliant! I wish I tried one last night. Is the screwdriver. Oh, that's one of my favorite cocktails. And not just because I have a ton of oranges to shift. Sounds good to me. Aw, you're so ahead of your time, bartender. It's a cocktail served with a wooden screwdriver. Oh. Oh, okay. It actually has a wooden screwdriver in it. I've been served... It's been served with a little screwdriver in it. I didn't have any little wooden umbrellas. It's quite fitting. It is. Good cocktailing. So what do you think? Need some work? I've ta tasted better dishwasher. It's delicious. The finest beverage I've ever t tasted. You're too kind. Spread the word. It's the decade of the cocktail. Damn straight. You're so ahead of your time, barkeep. Soap. Oh, I thought I would get the- Ah, I did get the little screwdriver. It's a wooden cocktail screwdriver. Lovely. And how did you get that? Can you order these on Amazon? Lovely. So I guess that was the point of coming here, to get a little screwdriver. And to get, you know, a little quick drink before uh, being faced with corpses and murder and stuff. <laughs>